Welcome back, Bat Fam, to the YouTube channel of the century. We're going back to form this time around and talking about Ghostmaker. For you who don't know, Ghostmaker is basically Batman, Batman's close friend and actually low key best friend who trained with him when he was traveling around the world and has every single skill as Batman and is currently richer than Batman with no conscience. Yes, that's right, he's a psychopath. From where we left off in the last video, Ghostmaker had lost another psychic. This time he was kidnapped and he was currently tracking his location. Only for him to find out that this psychic he was looking for was low-key at the headquarters. Pissed off, he turned his ship around, calling every other Batman Incorporated member to check on their status. But the thing is, every single one of them was facing an opponent, strong and as fast as a Batman Incorporated member, except these guys could kill. So it was basically a free-for-all battle of fist, and the Batman Incorporated members were losing because they had a conscience. But like Batman and Captain America, they could do this all day. So they kept fighting. Every single one of them was fighting someone as vicious and as skilled as they were. Even if they could not kill, they still stood a chance except these people could go the distance so where they would not use poison or use medication on each other these people would instantly knight found out the hard way when this shorty called um, i can't remember her name stabbed her in the chest with her claws causing her to pass out this babe had low-key dosed both of them that's how she won her fight Ugh, disgusting while this was going on, Ghostmaker finally landed back in the headquarters, only to jump out of his jets, looking for his sidekick, actually concerned about this kid's safety, only to find out, broom, it was a hovering box, and on the box, there was a written note, you cannot control us anymore. Inside of it, he found Clown Hunter's tracker. Before he could even react, he was stabbed in the back, instantly falling to the floor. Dark Ranger tried to protest, but he was knocked out. This is when we see that Clown Hunter and Phantom One had joined forces. Both his former sidekicks are trying to kill him at this moment. <laughs> Back with Jiro though, the Batman of Japan, he was getting choked alive by this freaking behemoth of a Batman. I love his character though. It is funny because Jiro is low-key one of the best fighters in the Batman Incorporated crew and he was getting manhandled. He had to pull out a dagger from his boots just to survive. At this moment, we realize that this guy is a behemoth because even Grey Wolf, who's apparently six foot something, couldn't face him on equal footing. He made it clear after I saved your life and told you my mission, you still chose to fight me. Let it be known that I was merciful. You could tell at that moment, this guy has been holding back this whole freaking fight. It got me so hyped. We need a solo story on this guy alone. DC, if you're watching this, please deliver. Back to the story. We see our heroes get blasted with some lights to the face. And we discover that it was this behemoth's backup coming through. And just like them, while these people were about to knock out this electric shock Batman, they found out why they were attacking Batman Incorporated. Their crew were apparently part of Lex Luthor's correlation of Batman. And when Lex Luthor abandoned every one of them in their chaotic cities, they banded together to attack Batman Incorporated. This is when we find out that just like Batman, he wasn't just out, he was stalling. Because at that moment, his crew came they were vicious instantly she threw darts knocking both of them out they were really diverse in using poison darts and just like that every single new member of the batman incorporated international group was gone and ghostmaker was getting his ass beat by his boy his ex-boy <laughs> he was actually content or was he faking wink wink this is when we find out exactly what happened to phantom one it all starts with the hero of Dublin. She apparently saw Batman and was inspired only to get stabbed by the exact master that taught Batman how to use the blade. And the fact that she was a vigilante didn't help because even when she was crippled, they still put her ass in jail. 
her secret identity was out so she had no other option but to fake her own death relearn how to use her legs with the help of cybernetics and look for her revenge but what she found was at the exact moment where Ghostmaker left his former apprentice to die. She was heartbroken. She had to save his life and nurse him back to health, only to see on TV that Ghostmaker is being hailed as a hero. So both of them decided to get revenge. And this is where we are in the story, with Ghostmaker being beaten to death, making Clown Hunter watch and making him land a finishing blow. I know, right? It's getting pretty dark, but yeah, this is one of my best Batman stories, even if it doesn't include Batman. So stick around. If you don't know about this story, go check my playlist on the Batman International. Peace.